okay guys so we already know how my access point is connected to our network so this is my physical server which is connected to my wireless home modem and this is the access point which is connected to the wireless uh, home modem okay physically by cable so i already uh, plug power injector because as i told you my uh, modem is not power over ethernet so i need this power adapter and also i take a console and plug to my laptop and this is our topology wireless lan controller is already configured but there is no access point yet okay so what we need to do when first time access point boot it will ask you the username and password so let's take a console because i already plug a console so let me go to secure crt either you can use putty uh, file quick connect change the protocol to serial and i'm connected to com5 let me take com5 change the baud red by default is uh, 9600 and connect and enter so let's see access point is connected or not let me enter again okay let's see it's look like because i just plug it ah okay it's not connected so let me connect the cable okay so i just plug the cable and now you can see is booting okay and this the operating system so it will take some time by the way by default username and password is cisco c is in upper case keep in mind so password is cisco also enable mode password is also cisco but c in upper case so let's see when it's boot up so we will type this one and most probably because we are logically connected to the same switch so our virtual wireless lan controller with uh, see this access point automatically and this access point will join this virtual wireless lan controller automatically but if it is not so we have a manual method in case in your case if it is not so you can do it manually okay so let's see let me go to access point summary there is nothing and also you can verify from wireless so nothing is there because it's just booting up yeah it's come up now and username is cisco password is cisco and enable mode password is also cisco c in upper case okay and it's come up now enable sorry and cisco sorry uh, enable enable yeah now i'm in enable mode okay now let's see if it is joined automatically or not in case if it is not so we have manual method as well so let's click on access point and let's go to monitor as well yeah so you can see an access point summary uh, you see there is one access point and if i go to wireless now yeah so it's joined automatically and it's get 241 ip automatically 100.241 this takes this point and this takes this point model which i'm using okay and it's just one minute pass and it's showing us because i just plug it one minute and this the access point mac address okay and it's enable and it's register so it's joined automatically because logically we are connected to the same uh, switch by the way in case if it is not so first thing first you can type this command show cap web ip configuration to see the configuration if you buy from uh, amazon so maybe there is many thing configure this is the first command to check out so you see in my case 100241 is already assigned statically okay and default gateway is already assigned statically and controller is also assigned statically because previously i configure for test purpose 
So what you can do if it is not in your case, so you can clear the configuration by this command clear this is the first command you need to type delete any existing entries anything then these two command to join the controller statically either you can use this command either you can use this command an ip address of the wireless lan controller so my wireless lan controller ip is 192.168.100.240 so what i can do i can type this command by the way that's the command to type it's up to you which command you want and copy this command and paste here and enter that's it and this way it will show up here this is the simple way to join a uh, wireless uh, access point to your a wireless LAN controller okay that's the manual way maybe because first time I configure statically most probably it will join automatically the one thing which I face and I told you as well uh, you need to change your country in my case when I install wireless LAN controller so I choose Saudi Arabia but in your case if you are in USA or UK so you need to choose that country if you did not choose uh, during installation so you can come here and change otherwise this access point will not join your wireless LAN controller second thing uh, maybe for some reason it will give you error here you see there are many error at the uh, debug so what you can do the static method is the best to join and this way now is join our wireless LAN controller and now I can use this access point in my topology to do the wireless test okay so that's it if I go there yeah these are the static method this one is automatically most probably it will join automatically you need to know the username and password Cisco Cisco and also enable password as Cisco and this is my topology and this is the connectivity which I already told you in previous video